yes, it's bright red. No, he... No, he hasn't eaten anything besides his food. Well, he does have a history of eating garbage, but... You. Hello? Miss, are you still there? Hello? Luigi is the stinkiest, whiniest, weirdest shaped little dude I know. And I love him. And when I say Luigi, I'm not talking about the little green man with the mustache. I'm of course talking about my cat, my son, Luigi. The bobtailed, trash eating, falsetto screaming man of the hour with a mustache. In a previous video, I talked about his origin story. How he was so unruly, so obnoxious, and of course, obsessed with eating garbage for some unknown reason. But since his sixth birthday just passed, my little boy is becoming a man. I figured it's time I update you guys. Luigi hasn't changed a bit, and this has caused us many, many Luigi-sized health scares. I feel like I'm in a never-ending battle with this cat. Which reminds me. This video is sponsored by freaking Battle Cats. They caught wind of my disgusting son and said, Hey, uh, that sucks, but since you have experience defending your turf in exciting battles with very strange yet charming cats, our mobile game should be a piece of cake. And they were right. I've spent an embarrassing amount of time sending my little Luigis off to war across the world and even on the moon. My undefeated army of cats includes Sexy Legs Cat, who takes pride in his beautifully disproportionate long legs. UFO Cat, who managed to overcome gravity, and Mythical Titan Cat, the Lord of Destruction. Do you see why this game resonates with us? You can download Battle Cats for iOS and Android today to form your own menacing crew of Luigis using the link in the description or this handy dandy QR code. It's fun, it's hilarious, and it's free to play. Until January 16, you can log into Battle Cats each day to earn a login stamp and an awesome gift, like tickets, which you can use to unlock rare cats, like Hip Hop Cat. Look at him go! Or if you're really lucky, you can get an uber super rare cat, like the Cat Machine. Collecting all 30 stamps will earn you Gold Brick Cat. But if you're like me and want to level up faster, they have some bargains on a Legend ticket and more to kickstart the holidays during the Battle Cats Black Friday sale, which is going on now until December 12th. But in the meantime, I must tell you of Luigi's first battle with death. Back when Luigi was just a little baby meatball, I woke up one morning to find him limping. My son was crying, flopping all over the place, wailing in pain. He was so little, so sad, so pathetic. Oh no, Luigi, what? <gasps> I tried to take a look at his paw, but he wouldn't let me touch it. And that's when it hit me. He probably hurt himself trying to jump onto the counters. Despite his preferred goat-like diet of steamed broccoli and tampon wrappers, he's actually very playful, super agile, and dare I say, athletic? And one of his favorite ways to train for the Olympics was by hopping up onto a bar stool, then jumping five to six feet across the hallway onto the kitchen counters. So of course, I'm thinking my little track star must have torn his ACL or something. I called the vet, packed him up in his little carrier, and I brought him in that day to be looked at. They checked him out, they took x-rays, and they gave him back to me and said, well, we didn't find any broken bones, uh, we didn't find anything stuck in his foot, so maybe he had a hangnail? A hangnail? We think so, at least, because he's walking just fine now. What? But like, ten minutes ago he was limping. He must have chewed it off on the ride here. So. He's okay? Yeah, look at him. He's safe, he's healthy, he's just dramatic, I guess. And very handsome, aren't you, bud? Thank you? So yeah, that day I learned Luigi is a very fragile, very dramatic, and very expensive little boy. The next health scare came about a year later when I moved into my second apartment. Up until now, it was pretty easy getting him into his carrier, but... I think that last vet visit traumatized him. Cause when it was time to move, he refused to get in. I know now to get him into the carrier, I must gently hold him, cradle his little rabbit feet and slide him in like a Nerf dart. Back then though, I did not know this. And we were only moving down the street, so... Hey, psst, Luigi, check this out. Is, is that a, is that, is that a, yeah, yeah, it's a box. I, I want, 
I want to, I want to, I want to. You want to go, want to go jump in the box? I want to jump in the box. Want to go jump in the box? I'm going to jump in the box. It was fine. He was fine. Like I said, we were moving literally down the street. But once I got him all set up in the bathroom, he wouldn't eat. He was too scared to leave his box. I wasn't nervous at first since it made sense. He was stressed. But after 24 hours, he still wasn't eating or drinking or doing anything at all but sit there. It really worried me, so I called the vet. And they told me if he didn't eat something within a couple days, they'd have to admit him to the hospital and give him an IV. In the meantime, they advised me to try treats or other high-reward foods to bring back his appetite. So I went to store after store, grabbing the nicest, bougiest kibbles and treats I could find. But he wasn't interested. Also, keep in mind, these were the days before I did YouTube. I was on a college budget, and that budget didn't allow for a five-star Luigi buffet. Still, Luigi is, like, my child, so I did the best I could. I found the nicest, wettest, fanciest feast in a can within my grocery store budget, and thankfully, he ate it. Oh, what a good boy, Wiggy. You got your appetite back. All right. Wait, what? What's wrong? <laughs> wait, what? Hold on. Wait, wait, what? Oh, you little. He was fine. He was safe. He was healthy. He was just being dramatic. And handsome. That food made his coat so shiny. It took a careful and calculated couple of weeks to wean him off the expensive wet food and back onto the kibble that he's always eaten and never had a problem with until now. And so since then, I've been calling him my little prince. Prince of trash, but still a smug little prince nonetheless. As time went on, Luigi's health scares scared me less and less. Inevitably, he'd eat the dry food. Inevitably, he'd bite off that hangnail. And inevitably, the vet would say the same thing. Well, we checked him out, we did x-rays, and he's fine. He's safe, he's healthy, he's just dramatic. And very handsome. Ugh, Luigi! You know, at first I was joking about you being my son, but now the prophecy has been foretold. You may as well be my little first grader faking a stomach ache so you don't have to go to school. After so many boy who cried vet scares, I stopped getting scared. Until one day, the unthinkable happened. The year is 2020. My mental health is in the toilet. But every time I'd come home from my weekly journey to the grocery store, I knew I'd get to see Luigi's sweet little face poking out from behind the door. Because he always waited for me, right here on the counter. But one day when I was leaving, bye bud, be good, be nice to your sister, be right back. I shut the door and I heard the most ear-piercing howl of agony from the other side. It was so loud, it echoed into the hallway. And that's when I realized I had shut his widow chocolate chip paw in the door. And man, hurting an animal on accident is the worst. I went back in, he jumped off the counter, he was limping and meowing in pain, but he wouldn't let me go near him. I felt like such a monster. And I knew he wasn't being dramatic. I knew what I did. And I knew this meant a serious trip to the vet. I loaded his little Nerf dart body into his carrier. I found an emergency animal hospital and I waited hours in the parking lot until finally he was able to be seen. And I couldn't believe what they told me. Well, thankfully no broken bones, no sprains. I guess he was just a little shaken up by it all. He's actually really healthy. He's walking just fine and Maybe he was just being dramatic. Yes, dramatic. Oh, and very handsome, aren't you, bud? Yes, handsome. Thank you. Of course, that'll be $300. What? Luigi! But you know what? It was worth it. I care about this little dude so much, and I'd rather he put on a one-man show about the horrors of hangnails rather than find out he has a problem but was hiding it from me. Because usually that's how cats handle things. Sometimes you don't know they're sick until it's too late. So thanks for watching my videos. Make sure to take your cat to the vet once a year for their checkup and anytime they aren't acting quite like themselves. And as always, stay safe.
And thanks again to Battle Cats for sponsoring this video. If you love the chaos of weird little cats like I do, use my link in the description or my QR code to download Battle Cats for free on iOS and Android. Sponsors like this directly support my channel and my team of artists to allow us to keep making videos you like to watch.